I don't know how well you'll be able to see. This is her. I feel like on camera I look huge. But I feel like in person I'm really not that big. This is what we're working with. As of yesterday, I'm now 38 weeks. I had not accumulated any stretch marks whatsoever. And then out of nowhere, one day I just woke up and I was like, Whoa, <laughs> what the fuck is this? Now I have a few right here. And then... I have these right here, but honestly, that's about it. I've been using this. I got it literally like last weekend and I apply this like three times a day because I'm not about to play with her right now. I don't need no more stretch marks. Glad you're growing. You're almost here, but I was in there yesterday. The doctor recommended I get an ultrasound for, for the following Tuesday. Is that something to be worried about? I know she said she wanted to check the baby's like growth and stuff like that. Yeah, so what they do is they usually they like me measure like your stomach, how far you look. Um, and if it's just below, they just want to check that, um, make sure both baby appropriate size, um, and also make sure you haven't lost any fluid or anything. Nothing to really worry about right now. <clears throat> okay. Um, All right. Thank you. Just a precaution. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank I'm you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <coughs> Yesterday I had an appointment with my OB and it was just like the weekly checkup. I am in my third trimester and I am currently 38 weeks. Yesterday during my appointment, my doctor noticed or more so she stated that I was still pretty small and my stomach looked smaller than usual and she thought my baby was compressed mainly like in the middle um which i can agree to that because i feel like my stomach is very round like mainly in the middle and i know a lot of women like their stomach is supposed to drop around this time and she didn't really like give an explanation she kind of just said like oh we just want to check and see how the baby's growing and that was about it she said um to schedule me for a ultrasound asap and i was like whoa 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 asap means as soon as possible if i'm correct as soon as possible means urgent so we were freaking out a little bit yesterday car ride back Ooh. home so half of me was like what's wrong with my child and then half of me was like oh she's just a tiny baby like She's just small. Like 38 weeks is almost like birth time. It's almost midnight. I am having contractions. It does not feel nice. Pretty sure I'm having one right like right now as we speak. On my back. We are trying to keep track of how frequent they are and how long they are. Like I will keep you guys updated. I'm gonna try to relax and not think about it. And yeah, if I keep having them throughout the night, I will let you guys know. Good morning, bitches. It is currently 6.46 a.m. I'm about to be headed to get my hair cut. She wants me to record for y'all. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's go to shit. I'll brush this hell. I need a haircut for Christmas. New Year, so we are doing that. See you at the shop. Give me los ojos. Brown. Oh, you can see the green. Look at the flash. And the light is red. The light ain't no. Today is December 26th. I'm getting induced tomorrow, which I am so scared about. She was due the 20th and it's the 26th now. So she's gonna be a week overdue. She has to come out. Right now, we're gonna go to Target and I have to get like last minute things for the past two or three weeks we've been trying like almost anything to get her out i've been doing the yoga ball i've been doing stretches i tried the squats the raspberry leaf tea the dates pineapple orange juice everything and she just doesn't want to come up 
¿Por qué me dicen que todavía ni parezco? When it's right here. And I guess you can't tell like this that much. Okay, but let's go to Target. Okay, so I got back from Target a while ago and I want to show you guys what I'm going to pack. Here is a zipper bag and then it has two other like compartments and then when you're done with everything you literally just zip it up and it turns into a small little bag i'm not the biggest fan of the colors of the bag but it does the job so i'm not really sure if the hospital provides any of these things but in case it doesn't i'm taking all of my favorites a mini toothbrush and a mini toothpaste my client has a long luscious beautiful hair and i asked her what she uses and she said she uses this now i'm not expecting that same amount of lushness but i was using head and shoulders before this one i would say it's an upgrade i don't know do i have dandruff yes but this smells good and then i also use a conditioner and it leaves my hair really nice i've been trying to stop itching and going to sleep with wet hair so i feel like that's kind of been helping with my dandruff as well need i say more one of my friends actually gave me this and i love it and i've been using this a lot some good old deodorant this came in a ColourPop makeup collection it's a travel hairbrush oh that's actually really cute we are not about to have no crunchy ass lips at the hospital i'm taking my favorite lip oil and this is the one from Verst. i'm almost out but i should have enough i don't know how well you can tell but i have really prone dark circles from my pregnancy let's pray that after they just go away i've gotten like hyperpigmentation in a lot of places so i've gotten it like around my neck my inner boobs under my boobs my underarms I'm also taking a pinza and then a liga because you never know. My camera, I'm taking like three batteries. I have a robe, I have pajama set. I got nursing bras when I was at Target. I got two of those. I don't know if I'll actually need them like right then and there, but if I do, I'm good. I'm going to go ahead and pack all of this and then I'm probably going to get in the shower and then go to bed. And then when I wake up, it's gonna be time to go. I am so scared. Good morning. So today is the day. I'm just gonna do something quick with my hair and this is literally my go-to every single time. This is the Bedhead Wave Artist. Literally my favorite hair tool because it is also the only tool that lasts on my hair i can't curl okay that's not a secret i cannot curl but the other day for christmas i decided to do the heat rollers and they came out cute i think like one hour in to the function they were gone like you could tell that i had a little something but you couldn't tell that it was curls or that i actually like took time to do my hair and then usually when i straighten it it'll hold but it's super tangled by the end of the night and i always have to be like brushing it with my fingertips how easy is that literally like less than five minutes honestly i i cannot believe that in a few hours i'm gonna have baby like i literally feel like i'm getting ready to go to the stop or go to a function or something anything <laughs> definitely never thought i would be getting ready to go have a baby i always thought i would have like the experience of like oh my god my water broke which is fine i guess i had time to like mentally prepare myself for it as soon as the last month started i was like oh she's gonna be early i thought she would be two or three weeks earlier than my due date and here we are a week after 
my due date nst exam the other day which is really just when they monitor the baby's heartbeat and make sure like she's not stressed in there or whatever and the own nurse told me basically said if i could go into labor naturally that would be better getting in than getting induced and i was just like miss girl i'm trying i'm fucking trying i've been trying to go into labor for the past three weeks now three weeks if not the whole month and literally i don't know what to do Don't nervous. Me too. Me too. Gonzalez. Yeah, but what is this? That's your name, man. Exactly. So this, this should be the same as this. Action. Still dilated one centimeter. This is a really awkward position, but this is literally the only position that I can give you. They started the medication, I think, to start dilating. So I'm, I'm hooked up to an IV right now. They're monitoring the baby right now. They just pushed up a pill up my coach and that's supposed to start dilating um they said they were gonna check back up on me in about four hours still scared for my life so i'll probably ch be checking up every so often and was nobody gonna tell me this thing hurts like i can feel it stinging so right now it's 1 15 and i'll check back up later So I ended up having a C-section because of so many like complications but she's right there. I got here yesterday at 11 a.m. and it is now December 28th, 6 p.m. Girl, it has not been fun at all i'm just grateful that she's out and fun fact they had told me she was gonna be like eight pounds because they measured her um on the like computer whatever it's called she was six and nine ounces We're going home. Say hi.